boys and welcome to another one what we're going to be doing today is having a look at gems and the gem forge so without further ado let's get in there first of all to craft the components the focuses and all the rest of it you'll need to head on over to the adventurers crafting bench and go into the gems tab and we'll start with the builders rough focus what you'll need to craft one of these is Bound Brilliance, Heart of Darkness and Flux. If you don't know where to get these from, the Bound Brilliance comes from weekly class power rank leaderboards and from events. Heart of Darkness comes from Shadow Caches, which you can get in the Shadow Towers. Builders Precise Focus, Bound Brilliance again, and 3k of each of the dusts which is water air and fire and 2000 flux so we move on now to the builder superior focus which is bound brilliance diamond dragonite titan souls and 50,000 flux now i would only recommend crafting these when you get all your primordial dragons done because you're using up your diamond dragonite so we move on now to contain chaos spark which is lunar souls which you can get weekly from daughter of the moon in the shadow towers obviously binding darkness which you can get from gem booster boxes and rarely from world bosses the world bosses are like the mini bosses in the shadow towers and out in open worlds always you get from just looting weapons and gear we'll move on now to the contain chaos flare which is really hard to craft which is two of the previous ones that you've already crafted so it does take a lot of stuff to actually make contain chaos spark so let's move on to the gem forge and have a look in there now we're at the gem forge i have leveled up two gems as you can see here to level 15 let's take a quick look at them in the gem forge now as you can see we have got magic damage on 73%, maximum health on 18% and light at 5%. Now this is potentially a bad gem. The only reason is if I level this to 25 and these don't improve a lot. I would need to use a lot of focus to get each one of these stats to 100%. But it still has the potential to be a perfect gem the only reason why people call these bad gems is because of the amount of focus that you need to put into this and the re-rolls that you'll have to do to get it how you want this gem so me myself i would scrap this gem i would loot it let's take a look at the other one now as you can see we have got Critical damage with one star at 54%. We've got magic damage with no stars and light at 55%. Now this has got a potential, and I do say potential because leveling up every gem is always different. But this has potential to be a good gem. Whether it is or not, when it hits level 25 is another thing. Because every gem levels up different. So we'll move on to ones that I've already got to 25, level 25 that is. And as you can see on this one, we have got light with one star at 72%. We have got critical hit with two stars at 72% and magic damage at 48%. Now this to me is a good gem because it will not take a lot of focus to get each one of these stats to 100%. So what I'll do now, I'll use a rough focus, a precise focus and a superior focus on each one of these stats and we can see how high it goes up in percent for each one. So we'll start with magic damage and we will improve it by one step. Let's see how high it goes. So that has gone up 2% and we will now do light which has got one star on it. We'll see how high that goes now with one step and it goes up 
and we will do critical hit go up one step with the rough and you see that didn't even go up a percent because it, the rough focus only goes up a tiny bit on the bar so we will now try each stat with a precise focus so we've got magic damage on 50 percent and when using a precise we'll go up one step and it goes up five percent we will do light with 73 percent let's see how, how high it goes that's gone up two percent and we will increase critical heat with two stars on it and we'll do one step and it's gone up two percent now we'll do the same with the precise focus so we'll start on magic damage go up one step and that's gone up 13 we will now do light we're on 75 one step that's gone up seven percent and critical heat with two stars at 74 percent one step that's gone up four percent so as you can see it's not going to take that many focus to get this gem to 100 percent on all stats so what else can we do with this gem well i don't want critical heat on this on this stat here so what we'll do we'll select the contained chaos spark make sure we have got critical heat selected and we want to ideally get critical damage so let's re-roll this and see what happens let's see how many times it takes to get critical damage so let's re-roll it It took five times to get critical damage but now it's looking a lot better so what else can we do with this gem it will be to move the star from light to either critical damage or magic damage now it's random how this happens using a contained chaos flare but I wouldn't suggest doing it until you've leveled up each stat to 100% so I'm not going to do it because I've only got one as well but using a contained chaos flare will move that star off light and swap it to either critical damage or magic damage so that is the difference between good gems and bad gems but like I said there is no bad gem the only difference between a bad gem and a good gem is how many focus or re-rolls of stats that you've got to do to that gem to make it perfect every one of these gems has potential to be a perfect gem it's just how many focus and re-rolls you'll have to use i hope this has helped you guys a little bit in explaining what everything does in the gem forge if it does give it a thumbs up guys and if I have missed anything, please let me know on the comment section down below. And as always, guys, stay safe and take care. And I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.